Okay, guys, thank you so much for connecting. Thank you so much for being so punctual. And thank you so much for being here in the class. I appreciate, appreciate. So good evening, good evening, good evening to each of you. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for being super punctual in the class. Just let me share with you my screen. And let me start over here with our first practice. Just give me one second, please, please. Mm -hmm. Let me go with this. Let me go with this. This one. This will be our first activity for today's class. Just give me one second. We are going to start. Now tell me, what is this profession? Mm -hmm. What is this profession? TV presenter, singer, doctor, vet, dentist, TV teacher. TV presenter, okay, TV presenter. Yes, that's correct, that's a TV presenter. Now let me ask you, what is this the profession or occupation? Football player, farmer, doctor, dentist, for fire, singer. Actor. Uh -huh. Sorry, 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 repeat. Actor. No, it is not an actor. What is this occupation? What is this occupation, profession? Uh -huh. Look at the picture. What is the profession? Doctor. No, it is not a doctor. Farmer. Farmer, that's correct. Thank you. Farmer, farmer, farmer. Um, I now see. let's go with the second picture over here. Now, what is this profession? Fire finger. Five fire, fire finger. Five fire, fire. fire pronunciation. Five fire. Five fire. Five fire. Five fire. fire. Now let's go with this. What is this profession? It's a doctor. Doctor. It's a doctor. A doctor? Are you sure? A bed. A bed. It is not bet. a doctor. It's bet. a bed. bed. It's different. Bet. Now bet. let's go with this. Let's go with the next one. What is this profession or occupation? Doctor. 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 That's correct. Doctor, doctor, doctor. Now what is this profession or occupation? Doctor. Actor actor, 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 actor. Let's go with the next one. What is this occupation or profession? Football mm. player. Football player. Football player. Football player. What is this profession or occupation? Singer. 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 That's correct. Singer, singer, singer. Now, what is this profession or occupation? Teacher. 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 That's correct. Teacher, teacher, teacher. And what is this profession or occupation? Dentist. Dentist. Dentist, dentist, dentist. Dentist over there. Now, let me ask you over here, guys. Let me ask you one second. Let me reload. And let me ask you over here. Now, let me ask you, what is in the Spanish, guys? Football player. Football player? Football. Uh -huh. Footballista? Yes, that's correct. Thank you so much. What is five year in Spanish? Bombero. Bombero. Yes. TV presenter in Spanish. Presentador. Yes. Teacher in Spanish. Maestro. Yes. Farmer in Spanish. Enfermero. Enfermero. No. Enfermero. No. Cultor. Yes. Thank you. Singer. Singer, singer. Yes. Actor. Actor. Yes. Actor. Now, vet. Vet. Veterinario. Dentist. Doctor. Doctor. That's correct. So over here, let me give you my example and I will say. My mom is a bed. Now repeat, please. My mom is a bed. 
My mom. My mom. My mom. My mom. My mom. That's correct. Now tell me one example, please. One example. Using the verb to be, the verb to be, and the professions, and the professions. Another example, I will say, my dad is a farmer. Invent it, invent it, invent it. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't be to be, I mean, it doesn't be real over here. It has to be invented. If you can create a sentence. Now let I me go with know. this. Everybody repeat this. My dad is a farmer. My dad, my dad is, is a farmer. My mom is an actress. My, my mom, mom is an actress. That's correct. Now you have 30 seconds. Create your sentence, please. Create your example using the verb to be and the professions, please. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, one sentence, one sentence, in your notebook, in your notebook. Let's just play. One example, one example, please, please. Using, using, using the verb to be and the professions. Football player, five fire, TV presenter, teacher, farmer, singer, bed, dentist, doctor. One example, one example over there, please, please. Maybe an example, Messi is a... <laughs> one second, one second. I will ask in a couple a of seconds. Five seconds, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let me start asking. Maria, Wendy, give me your example. My mom is a nurse. A nurse. 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 Yes. Victor Manuel, give me your example. My brother is a doctor. Perfect. Margarita Maria, your example? My brother is a teacher. Thank you. Brenda Naomi, your example? My sister is a nurse. Thank you. Nurse. What about you? No. Jasmine Listed, your example? My mom is a doctor. Thank you. What about yeah. you? Uh, Tania, tell me your example. My mom is a singer. Thank you. What about you, Saira Marilu, your example? My sister is a teacher. Thank you. Jenny is Elizabeth, your example? No, don't say no. Speak, please. You are in class. You have to speak. Uh -huh, Jenny and Elizabeth, your example? I will say this in Spanish. Jenny Elizabeth está en clase de inglés. Hable. If not, no va a aprender. Si no, por gusto nos conectamos. Hable, por favor. Tell me your example. Dígame su ejemplo. Now, guys, ya estamos grandes para decir no y para hacernos el no puedo, no quiero. Ya están grandes, please. No estemos con juegos de niños pequeños de yo no puedo hablar, de yo no voy a decir esto. Please, please, please. This is the last time that I will say this. Esta es la última vez que lo digo. Última vez. Ya están grandes, hagan responsables y actúen como tal. Please, please. Practiquen, hablen. Esto es de hablar, no de quedarse callados. Now let's go with over here. Mario, your example. Mario Rodriguez, your example. Mario, Mario, Mario. My my dad is teacher. He's a teacher. My dad is a teacher. Now, Virgilio Ernesto, your example. My sister is a farmer. Thank you so much. What about you? Tell me your example, Carolina de los Angeles. My dad is a doctor. Thank you so much. What about you, Vanessa Alexandra, your example? No, Vanessa Alexandra, but... Chef. Thank you. Good job. What about you, Alejandra Alvarez? Your example? My mother is a doctor. Is a doctor. Is a doctor. Perfect. What about you, David Rodriguez? Your example? Teacher, ahorita voy de camino a casa, pero my father is a electricist. Okay, electrician. Electrician. Thank you so much. What about you, Wilson, your example? 
My sister is a nurse. Thank you so much. What about you, Reina Benitez, your example? My sister is a vet. Thank you. What about you, Adelia Elizabeth, your example? I am a nurse. I am a nurse. I am a nurse. Thank you. Daisy Carolina, your example? Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. No, Daisy over there. Natalia Melissa, your example? Natalia, Natalia? My, yes. My father is a dentist. Is a dentist. Good job. Now, this is about professions and the bird to be. Are we clear, guys? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, let me share this information in WhatsApp because we need information. Let me go with this. 66666. Six, six, six. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 7788. What is the APM group? Okay, over here it is. So, let me share over here the example. Okay, there you got. Remember, you need to practice always, always, always the bird to be. You don't practice? No, perfect English over there. Now let's go over here, guys. And right now we are going to check all emotions. So let me share with you. One second, please. Let me see, what is it, what is it? What is the open box? Okay, here it is. Okay, let me clean over here. Let me go with this. Oh, let me go over here. Now let me go over here. No, let know. me open the oh, motions, emotions, yeah. emotions. Let me open over here. Let me open over here. Let me open over here. No, Amy, be careful with the microphone. Oh, thank you so much. Let me go with this. Give me the microphone. Okay, now let's go over here. Emotions. Now you guys tell me what is your emotion for today's class. For example, guys, in my personal case, I was saying, I am, let me see. I would say I am excited, excited. It is not here, but it's kind of like happy. Now everybody repeat, please, I am excited. Young, excited. I am excited. What, a, what about you? Tell me what is your emotion for today's class? Please, please, please. You got 30 seconds, guys. Write your sentence in your notebook and tell me what is your emotion for today's class. 30 seconds. Go. Tell me, tell me, tell me what is your emotion using the verb to be. Remember, I am angry, I am sleepy, I am scared, I am worried. Tell me, tell me, tell me your example, please, is plus. Fifteen seconds, fifteen seconds. One sentence, one sentence, one sentence. Ten seconds, ten seconds, ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let me go with this. Jamile de Delmira, tell me what is your emotion? I am happy. Thank you so much. What about you, Adil Elizabeth? I am happy. Thank you so much. What about you, Margarita? I am sleep. sleepy. What about <laughs> you, Tani Evangelina? I am angry. Angry. Cool, cool, cool. What about you, Maria Wendy? Your example? I am sleeping. Thank you so much. What about you, Victor Manuel? Your example. I am happy. Thank you so much. What about you, Jasmine Lissette? Your example. I am happy. Thank you, Brenda Naomi. I am happy. Thank you, Saira Marilu. I am confused. 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 Thank you, Virgil Ernesto. Your example. I am happy. Thank you, Jose David Rodriguez, your example. Jose David. I am angry for the traffic. Thank you, what about you, Carolina? I am excited. Thank you, Jamile. Oh, sorry, Adelmira, you already participated. Mario, your example, please. I am hungry. Thank you. Now, hungry, remember. 
en Alexandra, tell me, yo le tampo. Sorry, no Alexandra, Alejandra Álvarez, my mistake. I am happy. Thank you. What about you? Let me see, Vanessa, Alexandra, now is your turn. I am happy. Wilson, your example? No, Wilson, over there. Okay, Reina Benitez, your example? I am sleeping. Thank you. Adilia Elizabeth? No, Adilia Elizabeth. Okay, let me go with Daisy Carolina. Daisy, 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 no, Daisy over there. Natalia Melissa. I am sorry. Thank you. I'm so sorry for that. Now let's go with Veronica. I am happy. Thank you. Noemi del Carmen. Noemi, Noemi, Noemi. No, Noemi del Carmen over there. Okay, cool. Carlos Ernesto. What is your example? Carlos Ernesto, over there. No, no. I am happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate, appreciate. Now, these are emotions, guys, that you can express with the verb to be as simple as that. For example, I am happy, I am angry, I am confused, I am scared, I am hungry. Now, this is the verb to be. Are we clear with the emotions, guys? Yes or no? Yes, yes. yes. No? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let me share this picture, guys, because picture over here in WhatsApp. Just let me, let me, let me, let me go to WhatsApp over here. So right now, guys, we are going to make a review about the demonstrative pronouns. Over here, let me make a review. Now, I ask you those singular or plural? Plural. Those, those plural, plural. Now, near or far, guys? Near. Near, no. Far. 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 Plural and far. Remember those. Plural and far. That. Singular or plural? Singular. Singular. Near or far? Near. Far. Far, far, far. This, singular or plural? Uh -huh. Plural. Plural. No, singular. Sure. Singular. 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 Singular, 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 singular. Now, near or far? Near. 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 Now, this, singular or plural? Plural. 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 Now let me ask you, near or far? Near. Near. So remember, those and that far. In this case, those plural, that singular. This and this, both are near, but this is singular and this is plural. Okay. So that's the difference. This, let, me go, this, let me go this. with this. Let me copy the picture. And let me give you the examples over here. Lejos cerca. Yes, that's correct. Let me put it over here, guys. Let me share with you my examples. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It is not this one. This one it is. Give me one second. Let me open over here. Demonstrative pronouns. Okay, let me open over here. Let me go with this. Let me open this picture. Let me close over here. Tell them to go over here. So this is my example. Now I will say, this is my example, guys, and I will write. This is... What is the animal? A cat, a dog, a lion, a tiger. Cat. Cat. Yes, this is a cat. Now, everybody repeat, please. This is a cat. This, this is, is a, a cat. cat. That's correct. Now, this is singular or plural? Singular. 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 Near or far? 
Near. 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 That's correct. Mm -hmm. So right now, this is my example. Give me your example, please. Mm -hmm. Using this, that, and those. You have 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Write your examples in your notebook, please, please. Tell me, tell me your examples using the demonstrative pronouns principle plus. 30 seconds, go. One example, one example, using the demonstrative pronouns, places, please. One example, using the demonstrative pronouns, places, plus. One example, one example, places, please. One, 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 one example, using the demonstrative pronouns, places, plus. One example, one example, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. One example, one example, places closed. Okay, let me go with this. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Go over here. Now let me go with the next example. What is the correct sentence? Uh-huh, what is the correct sentence over here? These are cut. These are the cats. Now everybody repeat please. The These are the cats. These, These are the cats. These are the cats. Now next cats. example, that. That, that is, is a cat. Yes, that is a cat. Perfect. Now everybody repeat please. That is a cat. That is a cat. Now those. Those are the cats. Those are the cats. Those are the cats. The cat. Now let me go with this. Are we clear with the demonstrative pronouns? Near and far, singular and plural? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, are we clear? Yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yes, yes. Let me take the screenshot so you can have the picture in WhatsApp. Let me share the picture over here. Now let's go over here. This is about the most of pronouns. So for this, guys, let me open a presentation over here that I have for you. And let me go over here, over here with you. So we are going to talk about the most of pronouns. Let me go over here. This now, everybody repeat, please. This is Harry Potter. This is Harry Potter. Harry Potter. That's correct. Harry now, Harry let me ask you, this is Harry Potter. Is singular or plural? Singular. Singular. Near or far? Mm. Far. Far? Near. 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 Don't forget. Near, near, near. Let's go with the next one. That. That is Hermione. That is that Hermione. Is now, let me ask you, that is Hermione. Is singular or plural? Singular. 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 Near singular. or far? Far. 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 That's correct. Please. Now, everybody repeat, please. These are Carrie okay. and Ronald. These are Carrie and Ronald. Let me ask you, this is singular or plural? Plural. 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 Near or far? Near. 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 Perfect. You got it. You got it. <laughs> now, let's go with this. Two. Those are Carrie and Hermione. Those are Carrie and Hermione. Now, singular or plural, guys? Plural. Plural. Near or far? Far. 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 That's correct. Far, far, far. Now, these are the demonstrative pronouns. This is the resume. Singular, I repeat. This and that. Near, this and this, far, that and those, plural, this and those. So that's about the information. Give me one second. I will share this picture in WhatsApp so you can have it there. Just remember the topics, remember the topics. And let me continue with the presentation over here.
Now let's go with the next one. Let me ask you, this, that, this, and those is an all. This. Okay, this, let me go with this, let me see. This. This is an all, repeat. This, this is an all. Perfect. This is an all. Now, this, that, this, and those are animals. This. Yes. Okay, let me go with this. These yes. are yes. animals. Are animals. These yes. are animals. Yes. That's correct. These are animals. Yes. Next one. Uh, yeah. that. 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 that is Harry. That, that is Harry. That, that, that is Harry. Harry. That's correct. Um, now, this one? Those. Those are my friends. That's correct. Those are my friends. My now, friends. this ones. Those, this, or this. What is the correct one? Those. What is the picture? This one, this one, or this one? What is the correct picture? The old Harry Potter, the cat, or the girls? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. That's correct. Dos. Harry Potter. Now, what is this? This, this is uh, gap, the, the cat talk. Gap, 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 the cat gap, talk. Yes. Now, let me ask you. What no. Is, no, it is this case. No, it is the cat. This. No. No, this. No. And this one, no, this. Only the cat. This. Remember, the cat. This, this is cat. This. this. Now, this. What? Uh huh? What is, what is this? It's Harry Potter. Harry Potter? No. 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 It's it's the witches or the girls. These. These, that's correct. The girls, the girls, the girls. Over there. Now, what is that? The old. The old. All, all, all. Now, guys, you are doing super cool with the demonstrative pronouns. Super cool. Now, are we clear with the demonstrative pronouns? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's continue with this, guys, and we are going to talk about, let me go with the topic over here, and we are going to talk about preposition of places over here. <coughs> let me go with the grammar, and it says, what is it and use it for? Now it says, the prepositions, guys, it used to show the position or location. Position or location of one thing with another. Now let me go when I get back over here. One second, please. Let me put on mute because too much background noise. Okay, be careful with the microphones, guys. If you are not speaking, be on mute, please. Is blessed. Now let me go with this. Now, position and location between one thing and another. So to talk about preposition of places. We need two things. First, we need the preposition. We need the first one, and it is a bone. Everybody repeat after me, please. A bone. A bone. A bone. A bone. It says, guys, that a bow is when two objects are not touching. For example, the cloud is about the about the car. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The car is about in this case. The cloud is about the car. So above, guys, it will mean encima de. So when you cut the sky, the sky is above us. El cielo está por encima de nosotros. So that mm -hmm. will be above. Encima. Oh. Above. On. On, guys, it means when you put something, in this case, on a place. For example, on, I put my keys on the table. On, on, on. On means encima. On the table. 
So oh. I put my keys oh. on the table. Now, puse las llaves encima de la mesa. On. On the top of. On the top of, guys, means en la cima de, o en el punto de, so that would be. Now, the kids are on the top of the fridge. Las llaves están encima de la refrigeradora. So, on the top of. So, that would be about the prepositions above, on, and on the top of. Then we have the preposition out of sight. And it says, out guys means afuera, literally. It means afuera. Now, in this case, no. I am bored. Let's go out. Estoy aburrido? Salgamos. Let's go out. Now, outside means as well, afuera. The bike is outside the house. La bicicleta está afuera de la casa. Out of. It says, Larry ran out of the classroom. In this case, when you are speaking about no. out of, means that you are like in a movement. So in this case, it says like you are running, you are walking. So in this case, out of means moviéndose a o corriendo hacia. So that would be the difference. Let me go with this one. Close to, buying near. Close to, guys, means that you are, in this case, cerca de. By means for. I need, guys, means cerca. So, the sport is near the cafe. The sport shop is near the cafe. So, la tienda de deporte está cerca del cafe. Near, 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 near. The sport shop is close the cafe. So close, cerca de café. The sport shop is by the café. So la tienda de deporte está cerca del café. So close, by and near means cerca. That will be the main object or the main purpose. When you say below or under, guys, you are saying below means por abajo de. The cloud is below the window. El reloj está debajo de la ventana. Under means the same, debajo. So the red folder is under the papers. El folder está debajo de los papeles. So that would be the difference between under. In size, literal means adentro. In means adentro as well. So we have to use two, two examples. Inside or in is your decision what to use. Es tu decisión cuál ocupa. Between means entre. Now, when you have two objects and you have one in the middle. So, between. Besides means, in this case, a la par de. Besides, a la par de. Or next to, that means the same. A la par de. So, next to, next to, next to. Behind means atrás de. Atrás de. In front of means uh, en frente de. En frente de. And in this case, let's practice. Now, let me ask you over here. But before we practice on that one, let me explain over here with one picture. And let me go over here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me stop sharing because I have the picture over here and I have the picture over here. I'm so sorry. Let me go with the picture. Prepositions, prepositions. Let me go with the prepositions of places. No, yes, this one. Now, the most common ones or popular preposition of places are, are these ones. So, in, in guys, literally means adentro. On means encima. Under means abajo. Next to means a la par. Behind means detrás. In front of means enfrente de. Between means entre. So, in that case, that will be the preposition of places. Everybody repeat, please. In. 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 In.
Ing. Oh. On the. On the. Oh. Next to. Next to. Next to. Now, these are the preposition of places. Let me give you an example over here. Let me give you one example. Address. Address. Okay, let me go with the picture over here. Animated, animated. Okay, let me go with this one. Now let me go over here. Prepositions of place. Let me go with the little cat over here. So we have the little cat. Yes, so we are going to practice over here with the little cat. So right now, guys, let me share with you another picture with the preposition of places. And everybody repeat after me, please. In front of. In front of. Above, between, on, under, in, near, precise. Now, remember in front of, what is the meaning of Spanish? Uh -huh. What is the meaning in the Spanish of in front of? In front of it, that's correct. Behind, what is the meaning? Behind, that's correct. Above, that's correct. Between, on, encima, sobre, the same, under. That's correct. In. Near. Cerca. Beside. That's correct. So that would be about the preposition of places. Now, if we are clear with this, let's practice over here with the exercise. And we have over here the pictures over here. So let me ask you over here. What is the family photo? The family photo. On the wall, on the table, or on the shelf? Family on the photo. Wall. On the wall. On the wall. Photo. Yes. On the wall. On the table. On the wall, on the table. No, on the wall. So in this case, the, letter A. On the floor. Now, what is the bookcase? What is the bookcase? The bookcase. Behind the sofa. Behind the what sofa? Is, what yes. is the bookcase? Next to the door? No. Next to, near the chair? No. The bookcase is the behind the sofa. Behind. What is behind the sofa in Spanish? Perfect, perfect. Now, what is the fireplace? The fireplace, the fireplace. Um, in medio. Between. Between. Between the bookcase. Between the bookcase and the shelf. And the shelf. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Between the bookcase and the shelf. Cool, cool, cool. Be, be, now, be, be, be. what is the caution? The caution means, guys, this one. The little thing that you used to sit. The caution. On the chair, on the chair, or on the sofa? On the sofa. On the sofa, on the sofa. over here. Over here, you have the caution over here. Yes, so on the sofa. 
Let me go with this. Where is the wall clock? No, wall clock. Under the plot, okay. over the plot, or on the pot? Under. Under? Are you sure? Over the pot plant. Over the pot plant. Over, over, mm -hmm. over. Remember, over. Over the pot plant. Where is the coffee over. table? Where is the coffee table? Beside the sofa, under the rug, or in front of the arm shirt? Um, huh? In front of the arm shirt. Okay, in front. Yes, in front of the arm shirt. Now, where is the shelf? The shelf is this one, this one, this one, this one. So, over the chair, next to the cardboard, or near to the TV set? Over the chair. Over the chair. That's correct. Good, good call. Now, the last, let me go with my next exercise over here. And let me share my next presentation over here about the preposition of places. So let me go with this with Alicia in Wonderland. Over here. Now, it says, Hi, I am Alice. Can you help me to find me? Yes, let me go with this. And it says, Where is Alicia, guys? Or where is Alice? Where is Alice? In front. In front of. Yes, front over of there. The... It's in front of. Box. So, in front of the box, perfect, you are doing good. She is okay. in front of the box. In front of the box. In front of the box. Now, where is Alicia? Behind. Behind the box. Behind the box. She is behind. behind the box. Let me ask you, where is Alicia? News. She is next to the box. The box. Let me ask you, what is Alicia? She is between the boxes. Between the boxes. Yes, between, between, between the boxes. <laughs> between the boxes. Now, what is Alicia? Into she's in the box. She's in the box or inside yes. the box. She's in. She in the box. Perfect. In. Now, what is Alicia? On the on, box. On, on, the box. on the box. Perfect. Is on the box. On the box. That's correct. Where is Alicia? She's on under. The under is under under the box so you are doing good over there thank you so much appreciate appreciate thank you thank you thank you so right now guys are we clear with the preposition of places yes or no yes clear yes okay cool now we're going to yes. move over here with the prepositions of places. And let me give you over here my example. And I will say, I am in front, in front of my laptop. Now everybody repeat this. I am in front of my laptop. I, I am, am in front of my, of my laptop. laptop. Another example. I am, I am next. I am. Next my bed. Next. Everybody, I am next to my bed. I am next, I am next, next to my bed. bed. That's correct. Now you tell me one example using the preposition of places, please. You have 30 seconds. Remember using the preposition of places. 30 seconds, create your example. Go. One example, one example, please, please. Tell me, tell me, tell me, please, please. One example using the preposition of places, places, please. One, 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 one example, places, please.
You have 15 seconds. One example, one example, one example over there. Five seconds, five seconds, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let me check your examples. Let me check your sentences. Let me go with Saira Marilu. Give me your example, please. I am from, I am in front of my TV. Thank you, good job. Margarita, your example, please. I am pencil, I am of pencil. I don't see what it is. This. Okay, what do you want to say? Uh -huh. Repeat the sentence. You are a mute, you are a mute, a mute, a mute, a mute. Microphone, microphone, microphone. I am pensive uh -huh. of my desk. Okay, in that case, I am, let me see if I got it because I don't got the pronunciation over there. So, beside my desk, I think you want to say, beside my desk. Beside my desk. my desk. Yes, I am beside my desk. I, yeah, I am beside my desk. Thank you so much. Yeah, Milet, your example. Yeah, Milet, is there Mila? Mila five, four, yes. I am in front of my lap. Of what or my what? My cell phone. Cool. What about you, Maria, Wendy, your example? My shirt is behind the sofa. Behind the sofa. Behind the sofa. Thank you. Adelia Elizabeth, your example? Uh, I am in front of my notebook. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. What about you, Victor Manuel? I am on the chair. Thank you, good job. What about you, Brenda? I am behind the table. Thank you. What about you, Jasmine? I am in front of book. In front of my book. Thank you. What about you, Virgilio? I am of my chair. On my okay, side. I'm not sure. Yes. No, Middle Carmen. I am from of my laptop. Thank you. Daisy Carolina. I am near the chair. Sorry, sorry. I am near the chair. Near the chair. Thank you. Mario, your example. I am from the my desk. I am in front of my desk. Thank you. Tania Evangelina, your example. I am close. Two of my coffee. Thank you. What about you, Carolina de Los Angeles? I am on my bed. Thank you, David Rodriguez. No, David Rodriguez. Okay. I am Wilson. in front of uh, my desk. Thank you, Wilson Alberto. I am in front of my desk. Thank you. Now, what about you, Vanessa Alexandra? Your example. I am in front of my computer. Thank you, Natalia Melissa. I am from of my cell phone. Verónica, your example. I am close to my cat. Thank you so much. Appreciate, appreciate. Now, are we clear with the preposition of places, guys? Yes or no? Yes. No? Yes. Now, let me go with this, guys. If we are clear, just let me take your attendance because it's time to take your attendance. If you are here, say present, please, so I can put your attendance. Adelia Elizabeth? Present. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. What about you, Alejandra Uniste? Present. Thank you. What about you, Brenda Noemi? Present. Thank you. Carolina de Los Angeles? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Present. Thank you. What about you, Carlos Ernesto? Carlos Ernesto Faustino? No, Carlos Ernesto Faustino? Not here. 
Ok, Daisy Carolina. Friends. Thank you, Isabel Araceli. Oh, sorry, Isabel. No, Isabel. Ok, no, Isabel. Jose David. Present. Thank you. Lenin Monterrosta. Present. Thank you. Manuel de Jesus. Not here. Margarita Maria. Present. Maria Wendy. Present. Thank you. Mario Alberto. Present. Thank you. Miguel Angel. Miguel Angel? No, Miguel Angel. Natalia Melissa. Present. Thank you. Noemi del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Well, let me go with my next volunteer. Okay, let me go with Noemi del Carmen. Oscar Edgardo. Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. No, Oscar today. Okay, no, Oscar. Eh, Reine Dubina. No, Reine Dubina. Tania Evangelina. Present. Thank you. Vanessa Alexandra. Present. Verónica Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Víctor Manuel. Present. Thank you. Virgilio Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Wilson Alberto. Present. Thank you. Yamilet Edelmira. Present. Jasmine Lisette. Present. Elizabeth. Present. And Taira Marilu. Present. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for connecting to the class. You are doing good with the attendance. You are doing good with the class. Now, guys, if we are clear with the preposition of places, if we are clear with the demonstrative pronouns, we are going to practice over here with the verb to be. So let me go with this. What is the correct answer? She is 30 years old or she has 30 years old? She, she, is. Has. Oh. she, she has. has. She has. She is. She, she is 30 years old. She Remember, is. she is. Oh. Now let me ask you, they isn't from Brazil or they are from Brazil? They are. They are, they are. They are from they Brazil. Are. Perfect, they are from Brazil. Let me ask you over here, the new student. From Russia? Is from Russia or are from Russia? Yes. Is from Russia. Russia, Russia, Russia. Now let's go with this. Sophie is then at work? She is ill or Sophie is at work? She aren't ill. She is. She is no. then? Uh -huh. Okay, is then is. Let's go with the next one. We are in new in town. Are this the Central Park? We are new in town. Is this the Central Park? Or is we is new in town? Is this the Central Park? A, B, or C? B. B, B. Cool, good call. Next one. A, B, or C? Are you at work? Yes, he are. Then you at work? Yes, he is then. Is you at work? Yes, he is. Okay, cool, good call. Let me go with C. Okay. Where do you from? I come from Spain. Where is you from? I am from Spain. Or where are you from? I am from Spain. I am. I am. So letter C, C, C. Now let's go with the next one. I am Spanish. I am Colombian. I am not Spanish. I am Colombian. I are in Spanish. I am Colombian. A, B, or C. Hi, B or C. B. 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 Okay, B. Cool, good call. Yes, I am not a Spanish, I am Colombian. Colombia. Now, her parents are 80 years old. Her parents have 80 years old, or her parents have 80 years old? Uh, R. 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 Letter A. R. 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 
Oh. Now let's go to the next one. Why do you happy? Because I is rich. Why are you happy? Because I am rich. Or why are you happy? Because I am rich. I. I am. Let it be. Why are you happy? Because I am rich. Now. Letter A, letter B, or letter C? It's it is. Sunny. It is sunny today. No, it is. Then it is cloudy. Letter A, letter B, or C? B. B or A. A. Okay, let me go with A. Let me go with A. Yes. Is it it's sunny today? No, it is sunny. It is cloudy. Now, letter A, B, or C. Are you hungry? No, I am not. I am too anxious. Or are you? No, I don't. I do too anxious. Are you hungry? No, I am not. I am anxious. Okay, let me go with C. Good call. C, C, C. Now let's go with the next one. Where is he? He always late. Where is he? He is always late. Where is he? He is never late. B. What is the B? Okay, let me go with B. B. Are you sure? 100%? Where is her? Yes, okay, let me go with this. Mm, okay, let me see. What other answer? A, B, or C? You choose two. Why is a. A. Okay, let me go with A. No. Letter B. B. Letter B. Letter B, yes, is correct, but the letter A, no. So, let her go with this. Some TV shows in that channel are funny, is funny. Reality shows aren't very bad, though. Or are very bad, though. A, B, or C? C. A. A, okay, let me go with A. No. C, C, yes, the letter C, C is the correct answer. C. Now let's go with the next one. What are points at 100 degrees? That are a fact, is a fact, or that's a fact? Is. That is a fact. Let's go with the next one. I am always hungry. I yeah, uh, I never eat hungry, or I am and never. Ah, uh, I am yeah. never. Never one. And what is the correct option? You have two two answers. Ah, uh, a a a. Okay, let me go with a. Yes. A. Good job. Now let's go with the next one. They. Very angry at each other, are always very angry, always are very angry, or are sometimes very angry? Are always. Always, are okay. Sometimes. And let me go with sometimes, okay? Angry and sometimes, good, good, cool. And the last one, she never is like this. She sometimes isn't very nice. She isn't always like this. She is usually very nice, or she is always like this, and she is then very nice. C. C? Okay, let me see. C. C and B. Okay, you say C and then B. Yes, that's correct. Good, good, cool. Now, this is about the bird to be, guys. This is about the topics. Now, with these guys, we already finished section one and section two. So with this, I will say this in Spanish. Finalizamos la semana 1 con la sección 1 y la sección 2. Todos los temas cubiertos, todos los temas explicados. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta, consulta, duda, algo que no hayan entendido? No? ¿Estamos claros? Cool. Now, if we are clear, practiquen. Practiquen el fin de semana, practiquen el viernes, que el día lunes mañana, vamos a poner en mañana práctica. Mañana hay clase. No, mañana hay clase. Va el día luz van a poner en práctica todo lo que han visto durante esta semana y vamos a iniciar con el nuevo tema. So please practiquen, eso les va a ayudar mucho. Si no practican es por gusto que estemos aquí en clase. So please practiquen. En la plataforma. So, sigan haciéndola, adelanten, 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 no hay problema. 
siguen adelantando la semana 3, la semana 4, hasta que terminen. No importa que terminen en plataforma, lo que interesa es que ustedes refuercen aquí los temas y los entiendan. So, don't worry. Now, si no hay preguntas, no hay consultas, guys. Thank you so much for connecting. See you tomorrow. No, sorry, on Monday. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye